A Chase Bank security guard who shot and killed a robber two months ago will not be prosecuted while police linked the man shot dead to other local robberies, adding up to $14,000 in stolen money. Our Amanda Quintana in the newsroom with why the DA's office does not believe it can prove the security guard was at fault criminally. Amanda? Yes, the district attorney tells me that had the security guard said he shot the robber to protect the bank's money or property, that might have resulted in charges being filed. But the security guard believed he needed to protect the people in the bank and didn't want a nearby customer to t be taken hostage. On March 1st, a Chase Bank security guard shot and killed this man, 35-year-old Luis Narvez, when he attempted to rob the bank on Milwaukee Street. Today, the district attorney announcing his office will not charge him for that death. It was clearly articulated by the security guard that um, he did believe that there was a threat to potential customer. Uh, Customers were present in the lobby, but there was one uh, directly at the window uh, that was approached by the robber. The security guard told police he believed he had to use lethal force to protect a customer. Narvez just pushed to get to the teller. Without yelling at the suspected robber, he shot him once in the back. There was knowledge by the employees and the community, as well as the security guard, that there had been a number of bank robberies that had occurred um, previously this institution had been robbed um, prior to the security guard taking the position. Since that shooting death, Madison and Middleton police have connected Narvez to six other robberies, including the Associated Bank in Middleton two times in November, the Associated Bank on Monroe Street two times, and the same Chase Bank he was shot at in December, sometimes wearing a Deadpool mask. In a lot of these cases, it's similar clothing, similar shoes, similar getaway car, it's how the robberies went down, the words he used. In all of those robberies, he acted like he had a gun, but a weapon was never seen, and he didn't have one that last time he entered the Chase Bank. But the threat, the security guard believed to be there, and the DA's office doesn't think they can prove that belief wasn't reasonable. The security guard was in plain clothes and relied on his training from the Marines when he was hired for that job just a month before this incident. As for Narvez, police believe he got away with about $14,000 in those other robberies. They believe he was sometimes driving back to his home in Milwaukee in between those heists. Amanda Kingtown reporting in our news center. Amanda, thank you.